So let's test the Slate 7 travel router. It is the next version of the AT, AXT 1800 Slate Travel Router that so many of us have been using. And this video is not a deep dive, it's not a review, it is a proof of concept for the distance this Wi-Fi 7 travel router will give us. Now the big difference between Wi-Fi 6 and 7 is supposed to be speed, but I have a hunch that this will go farther in Wi-Fi 7 than we got in Wi-Fi 6. And if I can make it to the entrance to my driveway right there, that will be 400 feet from the Obsbot Tail 2, which is just on the other side of this Slate 7, about eight feet over. We're going to take the router itself and move it. We're going to be line of sight the entire way. We're going to stop at 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet, and 400 feet if we can get there without it cutting out on us. What my dad would call throwing a deuce. So it's very wet on this side of my driveway, so walking is a little bit difficult. We'll get out of this in just a moment, get up on the driveway and be able to walk through a drier part of the property. Let's go on down here to about 100 feet and see what this is going to offer us. All right, live sight. We'll stop shade here. This is pretty close to 100 feet from the Obsbot Tail 2. Right, let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit. There is my pan tilt control. We'll zoom in a little bit here. Make sure we're staying pretty close to in frame. I'm going to be headed back over in that direction in just a little bit, so we'll we'll put it about like that. We'll take off 100 feet, pretty clear, pretty good. We're going to record this at 1080.30. The, uh, oh, that's a long way away, is it not? Let's zoom this in as far as we can here. All right, that's my 12 times, uh, 12 times hybrid zoom on the tail two. And I'm going to be on the other side of this frame by the time I get down to the end of the driveway. But here at 300 feet, you can see, at least in the connection that I have, I hope on the recording as well, there are no glitches in what we've got going on here. We've got traffic going behind us, uh, not, trying to, uh, not trying to give any kind of uh, pixelation or anything, so it looks like it's a pretty good shot. Man, I'm not talking about the zoom of the camera. I'm not talking about the picture quality uh, that it gives me. I'm talking about the connection. And I've not seen a single instance of anything. No reconnecting, no pixelation. It's all been out to 400 feet. It's all been a solid connection. So we'll start the walk, long walk back and wrap this up. The, the key here. It is, the key here, this is complete open line of sight. There are no obstructions between the camera and the router. And I'm keeping the iPad that's controlling the camera next to the router, which means I could set this up somewhere between home and first base, put my router up on top of the fence, and run out to center field if it works as it seems to work. Again, this is a proof of concept. I am not telling you that you're gonna get the exact same results if you run out and buy this. However, what used to take us a router and a repeater, what, what I have set up as a router and a repeater with the Slate AXT 1800, looks like maybe, oops, at least with one camera, one extra camera, whatever, we might could get with one router. I think I've got a mosquito on my head. As much as it has rained in the last little while, the mosquitoes are absolutely an issue. I'm going to stop here since I found the shade. I'm going to pull this over a little, oops, wrong way, pull this over a little bit and go ahead and zoom out some.
All right, that is zoomed all the way out, so I think I can make it all the way to the camera and not have to stop anymore. Again, very wet through this section of the ground outside my driveway and a little bit difficult to walk in. But there we go. We made it up past the mushrooms <laughs> and into Ooh, right there. I was about to tell two slate seven travel router. I'm going to set this down and talk to you from a different angle for just a minute. So here's the setup. I just put it up against the, you know, the greenery at the edge of our property. There is the slate seven travel router. I've powered it with a 15 watt battery bank that one's running on battery power all together got a wireless microphone plugged into it so we'll have sound going into the obsbot tail too but that little device carried us all the way to the entrance of that driveway i am very very impressed so what do you think is the slate 7 going to be a device that you want to try to add to your summertime streaming setup maybe your fall ball setup whenever you get ready to start your fall season maybe you'll be streaming streaming uh, soccer or football this fall maybe you're going to have it set up for next spring's baseball i believe this is going to be a good investment for a lot of people eric Goldbranson has done some some poking around on the inside of this and has even given maybe some insight as to how to get this to make sure you're stretching it as far as you can. He's very active on the Sideline HD uh, advanced technical group on Facebook, but he also has his own YouTube channel. If you look his stuff up, I would, I would suggest you do. He is brilliant and does a great job of, uh, of tell, telling about the ins and outs of devices just like this one. So the Slate 7 HD Travel Router. There'll be a link in the description if you'd like to pick one up on Amazon. There is also a link in the description for these shelves that I attach or I mount my travel router on. There'll be a link in the description for the store that I do my 3D prints on for all the heat shields and all the accessories that we make. Uh, it's a great way to help support the channel. Thank you guys for your love and support in this difficult time we're going through with my family and for Always, given your encouragement on these videos, y'all have a great time. Until next time.